Today I will show you how I did this, a two-story gazebo build, a second floor in the gazebo. So I will show you today how I did this. Hey friends, welcome, welcome. Today I will show you how I turned this gazebo into a burrow. A burrow for our rabbit. At the moment, as you see, it's not built. It's almost done. And this is on my challenge plot because of course I already did something on the Mad Hatters one. But to show you what I did with how I made those walls and the ceiling, I have all the ingredients in my inventory. So if you want to build along, you can. Okay, let's go to the beginning. The white rabbit of Alice in Wonderland is always in a hurry. It needs to go to a meeting or something else. And then um, he needs a house, a burrow. And then um, I thought a gazebo was a perfect place. So as you can see, I have all the ingredients. And what we need is 18 wood balls, 20 pillars, 15 floor tiles. For the middle bit you need 2 pillars and an item where you can put the pillars on. And I did this makeshift drum table because I loved it. It fitted my team. Then you just stack them up and then you have the middle bit. What I did is I stacked it outside because uh, it's more easy to uh, you know to, to, to make them stack and then I will place them indoors and then we need uh, the pillars you you can do it without but I liked pillars in the middle because I could put more stuff on it because it's uh, my plot will be very clutter core <laughs> here we go three two one then plop 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 here we go Gazebo down. So now uh, we can start building, guys. So let's grab our things. And what I did is I just placed them down. Start with the back. And then, you know, it's not perfectly straight, but try to, you know, put it in the middle. And do the same with all the others. And some won't line up really nicely, but. We can, uh, you know, fiddle a little bit with it later on. Let's see. So I need to use the grid because, um, you know, otherwise it will look very funny upstairs, or they won't, you know, match up together. At least that was what I uh, encountered when I did the first one. So the pillars will go in later. I will first try to... So these you have to do with uh, the loose. So now we have done and we need to go upstairs. But what I do it is I will do the straight ones first. And those are go straight into the middle. Because they... Click. Do them. And then... Go all the way to the... Uh, uh, that one. Last one. So now it's not lining up. I uh, changed one. So now I need to fiddle with it. Oh, perfect. So now I have the main one. And then I can do the back one. And I don't mind that the, you know, the grooves are not lining up. Because it's a messy build. So now you have the square. I did this from the top. So now I will do the stairs. I need seven of the chests. And you can of course use build blocks. Why is it? No, no. Let me, let me. This is so, I don't have that selected. Silly game. Silly game. I want a chest. <laughs> Why? Why game? Why? Why? I don't have it selected. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. Well, you know, one chest. And then play around with it, curve it in a little, use the free mocam thing. And then curve it one by one in. Let me, is this high enough? Let's see. I made it stairs. No, no, no. I need another one. I can't count. No, I want, yeah, well, I don't have enough chest options. Oh, let me up. 
There we go. And then we place it indoors. Let's see what's a nice... There we go. We have a stairs. And you can, of course, do it straight. And I guess I will put it a little more back. But you have to be careful because um, you, know, you have to be able to jump up. I can put it a little bit further. So as you see, it's a little fiddling. Upstairs, so we have the square, and now we are going to fiddle with the. This is a little um, pidgey. Want to, to be on that one? No. Oh, yes, I have you. So let's do the difficult ones first. I have the square, and now, now I need to try to <laughs> line these up. One. Another one. The last one. And look, I have a beautiful floor with a pretty pattern. So now I can put stuff up there. And I have my room. My uh, loft. Easy peasy. And uh, then I can uh, move the pillars. And uh, then uh, we can start decorate. So with this I use the free cam, the, the, I uh, don't do the grid, because they won't line up. And, uh, you can fill it up and then hang stuff on it. This one needs to go here. So there you go. And then we will put this one in the middle and then I'm, I'm done. Straight. Like that. Go a bit further away. And then I put the grid up again. And then try to line it up. How's that? Go up. Perfect. Oh gosh. Look at that. How pretty. So now uh, let's jump back to the housing plot we are building up. And uh, Make it pretty! I created the walls by making them outside because in the... So doing this in the gazebo it was very fidgy because you have a little space. So what I did, I made walls and I put all the items on it that I wanted. And then I went back into the gazebo and placed them around. And um, what I did was mirrors and clocks because you know the rabbit is always in a hurry. I uh, did clocks many of them as far as decorations i just picked different styles different sets because i think the rabbit is a messy rabbit because he's always in a hurry he does not have time to take care of his burrow so i placed downstairs a little kitchen and a sitting area and the dining area and upstairs is the bedroom and you will see in a bit but i just want to show you these little clips for me to show you how I did this and um, the styles, um, you know, the messy, very messy style. But I really enjoyed decorating this plot with all the different kinds of uh, items and the new books. I totally needed to use those here. And I think it fits uh, the rabbit as well. And of course, every house needs a derpy deer. <laughs> that lurks. So I uh, placed one here. It was a bit fidgy, but yeah, he will look at you when you come in. <laughs> I like this. So uh, I did this in the beginning and then uh, you know, placed the dining room next to it because the derby deer maybe uh, is a table guest as well. And there we go. The gazebo build is done with the second floor. I had so much fun in creating this. So I decorate the outside a little with some sneak peeks to the future. I'm not gonna say a lot, but uh, let's go in. My uh, white rabbit hole. No, not hole. Burrow. <laughs> I just got hole. He uh, is a messy rabbit. He likes his clutter. And, um, oh god, I love this so much. This uh, build sets the tone for my whole plot so well. Um, because he's a rabbit, you know, he always uh, is out of time, running around, going on his clock, 
I'm too late, I'm too late. Well, you know, he has many clocks here. This is, uh, the clocks were the inspiration for this build. So that's why there are so many. And uh, so, uh, just let me give you a tour. My mind goes everywhere already. So downstairs, there's a little kitchen. And his uh, carrot soup, of course. He's a rabbit, he needs carrot soup. Sadly, we don't have carrot cake. But um, yeah, his kitchen, his little sitting area. It's a comfy big chair. And all is always clutter. And I put some movement in because it's a, a you know, a barrow. Burrow? Sorry, a burrow. You know, it needs some greenery. So I got a lot of those wall decor things of the log cabin. And it kind of looked like roots. And uh, my friend Jenny inspired me with her idea of making roots come out of the ceiling. Like, hmm, I can use that. So Jenny, thank you. You inspired this a little. But um, then we go upstairs. And what, like I said before, I did not use build blocks or the pavers. Because <laughs> I will use much of that 3k in the other bits of the house so my little loft i think this is called a loft the second floor it's his bedroom it's um yeah i don't have a lot of room so i can't put in a lot but it's all he needs because r rabbits wash themselves with their tongue right he does need a bedroom bathroom i'm just joking so his bed and his clock, of course. He needs an alarm clock next to his bed. And then uh, some plushies that are looking down. This thing is huge. This is the moth. It's, you know, I can sit on it and fly away. Sadly, we can't. But anyway, his loft. It was so fun to do this. And of course, you know, you can do it in any style. This is just an idea how I did it, but you can make this minimalistic, fancy, um, uh, plain colors. But uh, yeah, the gazebo is just a challenge to build in it. Like before I did a beautiful library and I had a lot of fun making that as well. And now I did this, a second floor. I don't know, I just it, the idea just popped in my head and I was then playing with the Build blocks and uh, inspiration struck. That's how it works, right? I uh, hope you got inspiration of this. And uh, if you did, you know, let me know in the comments uh, if you're gonna use this idea with the second floor. Or what did you do with the, the build blocks? Did you do a third floor on your main house? Oh, hello. On your main house? And um, you get a sneak peek of my next video. I have been busy with making a beautiful entrance. And that's why these things are here. But that can say a lot. It's just, uh, no, I like my grand entrances. And you will see, you will see. But uh, my, uh, my hair's a uh, gazebo build. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my video as well. And if you didn't like it, you know what to do. Give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you yeah. next week. Bye friends. Bye bye.